we're here in Atlanta, Rivals Five Star Challenge. First athlete of the day, Donovan Jackson, 2021 offensive lineman out of Houston, Texas. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. We were talking off camera. This is your first big major event. How excited are you to be a part of this? I was very excited, nervous for a little bit, but I realized that I can hang with anybody here. You know, what is it you know, what is it you want to show? I mean, what is it you want to show people and what is it maybe that you want to prove to yourself? Uh, just for myself, just all the hard work I've been putting in, hand placement wise, I've been working on that a lot, so I want to show that off in the one on ones. Footwork wise, I've always been good in that area, so I think I'll really shine in doing this camp. We'll get to talk about the Buckeyes in a second. You've, you've done some preparation for this camp, you've been out camping. You know, what have, what have you done since we last saw you on Southern Swing? Uh, well, like I said, hand placement. My hands have always been way too wide than where it should be, so working with uh, different coaches to make sure it's right for the big national teams coming up. No, but you also, you know, you, you've made visits to Texas A&M and, and UGA, right? Yes. And how, how did those go? Uh, with Texas A&M, I spent the entire day with Coach Henson and Coach Fisher. They're pretty much saying that, uh, why would you go anywhere else when you have everything you need right here in the great state of Texas? And uh, I, they almost made me believe in it. Like, um, it was, it made me realize that, oh, I do have everything here. And why would I leave? But with Coach Pittman, he made it known where I stand with the Georgia Bulldogs. And the way he described it to me, it meant a lot saying that big of a program that once been. But back to Ohio State, you know, we were kind of joking. A lot of people, you know, in Texas, it, it, there are a huge number of Longhorns, huge number of Aggies. When you're asked that question, you know, what, what is it that you say? Well, when people ask me that question, I always say I was a Buckeye because both my parents are from Ohio. So they always, I always come home at complaining, what do I say? They said, just say you're a Buckeye. And so um, ever since I was a kid, I've always been a fan of Ohio State. Right. And, and you, if I remember right, it's your grandmother that's down in Cincinnati. Is that who it is? I mean, I'm sure she loves it when you, when you, when you say that, too. Oh, yeah. She, uh, when I went to the spring game, I brought her with me. She had a great time. Um, you know, we're, we're getting through summer. I mean, it's going to be, before you know it, it's going to be preseason football and the football season. You know, it's kind of escaping us, but plans to maybe try and get up to Columbus for a game in the, in the fall? Uh, it's going to be hard, but I'm definitely going to talk to my dad about it. We have a lot of stuff rotating around, but I'll see if I can fit it in. But, you're, you know, you're still, you're still hearing a lot from Ohio State. Yes. And, you know, what's, what's their message been to you? Uh, where I stand on their board, uh, they they say I'm a priority for them and they're all in. I've talked to Coach Day multiple times, talked to Coach Stud every other week, and so I have a great relationship with them. And you have a talented teammate down there at your school too with, with, uh, with Cole Montgomery as well. I mean, have, while you're not, you're not committed to anywhere, I mean, do you sit there and do you maybe kind of talk, talk up schools to him too as you see places? Oh yeah, I, I talk to him all the time about where we might fit in together. If not, where should he go? Where should I go? Uh, you know, last thing on Ohio State, I mean, specifically on Ohio State, you, are you a fan of like watching other people's recruitments? I know, you know you're gonna meet a lot of guys here and everybody talks on Instagram and social media and whatnot. Do you sit there and watch, you know, what's happening with other top players just to kind of you know, see, see the process? Well, in, when I was in eighth grade, like way before the recruiting even started, I would like, I wouldn't say stalk, but I would just track everyone's recruitment. I was like, wow, that must be really cool to happen to me. And now that I'm going through it, it's just a blessing. Right, you know, Ohio State's already put together a pretty strong class. I mean, they're already starting to put together some pieces in 2021. You, you know, hearing from guys like Kyle McCord and, 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 and Jack Sawyer already? Uh, some guys. I mean, I, I'm, I'm in a group chat full of all the northern recruits. For some reason, I'm the only southern kid. You're southern kid, and you're, and you're in with all the northern kids. Yeah. No? Yeah, that's interesting. You know, I'm sure Ohio State fans will take that. You know, take take pause with that. You know, thanks a lot, and you know, good luck with the challenge. Thank you.